Pisces, hi. So this is gonna be a reading for February 28th through March 6th. And I'll um, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there's an extended at the end of the video. You can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Pisces, what's going on? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Six of Pentacles. There's a lot of pentacly kind of energy that's being brought to the surface. I don't see many of those in the reading, but for some reason I'm getting that. Um, this is that equal give and take, that sense of balance that you're trying to create as an overall energy for your life, possibly. I do see here in the recent past, the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, you kind of coming out of something, there's definitely a split or a separation or something, and kind of starting over, creating something new for yourself here. And there's you with the Knight of Swords just doing exactly that. Let me go create something brand new. Um, in the current situation, the Eight of Pentacles, the Hangman, the Temperance card, there's a little bit of a pause almost, like if you're working on something, there seems to be, there's not a lack of progress, there's not, there, things are still working in the background, but you feel paused in it, you feel like I, I see no up, I see no down, I see no nothing. I just see this, and I'm kind of, it feels like almost like you're being the observer of what's going on and there seems to be a pause there's on your part you could perceive this as a uh, lack of growth but that's not it things are still growing within this situation it's like you're being pulled from it to not participate directly in it to make it grow for some reason it's, it's like let it let it ride let it be kind of thing I don't know why. In the immediate future, the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, the Queen of Wands. There's growth here. There's... Um, oh, that's why you could be pulled away. There could be a sense of healing on your side. There could be a sense of aligning with your own intuition because I see you doing exactly that. Almost like you need to... to listen a little more to your intuition. You need to almost nurture your intuition and it's going to create a sense of confidence um here oh feels good let's let's see what's up here let's clarify let me clarify the six of pentacles the four of pentacles the hangman the hermit the hangman. The hangman is very detrimental right now, and it's very healing. That's why it's here. It's asking you to pause. And it could be that pause from, you know, maybe you were out there working or doing who knows what, and then it's like, you don't need to do anything anymore. Just kind of go with the flow and just pause for a little bit. And the pause is definitely coming in as a, with, with this massive healing for you. And you're very stubborn into listening to this pause requirement. Almost like a pause requirement. Like the universe is like, Pisces, sit down. That's it. That's all you need to do right now. Sit. And it, 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 it does feel balanced. It does feel good. It does feel like it brings in a sense of balance. Almost like you're forcing yourself out of things. You're not participating in things anymore. For a while i don't know why man it feels good um let's do i want to do that five of pentacles there in the recent past and it's clarified with the five of pentacles the moon the empress 
You knew, you knew that this would be the outcome of whatever this was. Something was in your life then it no longer was, but it facilitated your growth. It kind of kicked you where you needed to be kicked to grow, to align with your true self. So even though it shows up right now as an energy of little, it shows up little as this happened, but it happened in order for you to grow. I'm sure the energy was not that little when it did happen. I'm sure it brought in a lot of things for you because otherwise you wouldn't be that empress at the end there. So it seems like from that moment on, as you stepped into your power, your life completely changed or you started to understand that you create your life and then there you are doing it. Let me do the, the Eight of Pentacles in the current situation. I don't know why I'm being pulled into the current ones uh, big time because even when I, I'm like, let me, let me still take a look at that past energy there, but I'm like, come here. <laughs> okay. Uh, for the Eight of Pentacles, you get the Four of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Slow movement. Slow, 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 slow movement. Definitely. Because I feel like you're okay. You're kind of like, okay, one day at a time is fine. But at the same time, there's something quite passionate underneath it all that kind of pulls you in the direction of, ah, I kind of want some speed here. And because things are looking stagnant or growing quite slow, you're not liking that. You're like, mm. yeah, I know this is how they have to grow in this particular situation, but eh, I don't like it. I really don't like it. Because you're being pulled out of it. Because you're being pulled towards yourself for some reason. You're being called inside. Let's do the hangman. Two of swords, the strength card, the page of pentacles. Yeah, you're learning to deal with this energy because sometimes it does happen. Sometimes all of a sudden you feel like something is coming and grabbing you and being like, you sit here. You don't deal with this right now. This being your life. And you're like, but uh, no, I got to participate in it. No, I said you sit right here. And it takes a lot to recognize those energies and to be like, okay, now it's my time to pause. Now it's my time to almost feeling like a disconnect, but it's not really a disconnect because it's actually a connect with self. You're learning from these energies that are showing up quite strong to pull you to the side of your life, basically. Let's do the temperance card. It's frustrating at times. I can see it in that two of swords, but you're learning. For the temperance card, you get the two of wands, the four of wands, the seven of swords. This is a lesson that you might be learning here. And it has to do to commitment, to your commitment to certain aspects of your life. And it could be even marriage, friendships, family dynamics, all sorts of things. It, it, it almost feels like a, an energy of waiting, 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 waiting. And then nothing happens. And then you back away because nothing happened. It goes, hold on. I hate it when they move my cameras and every time there's a different angle here because somebody's deciding to either Oscar jump there or the, the boys or the girl is moving, playing with the camera. Um, there's somewhat of a parallel here. There, you're being asked to pull aside, to pause, possibly in the material world, and then you're healing at the same time an energy that's pausing, and there's a stake, and there's a general kind of energy of yours of, yeah, I'm gonna wait for love or whatever it is you're dealing with it's tied up to commitment i'm gonna wait for the other energy to do something about it and then when they don't you're waiting enough time to figure out that nobody's doing anything including you you walk away and it's quite interesting how they come together as parallel energies here the you have to wait now 
when in general you're waiting, especially tied up to commitments. Um, let's do the Wheel of Fortune in the immediate future. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, Page of Wands. There's an energy of love coming your way. There's an energy of love that you're responding to also with love. Uh, there's a little bit of intrigue. There's a little bit of... Hmm, okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's respond to this. But it kind of comes in different because I feel like this is an energy that usually you would have waited for something to happen in it. And now I see you participating in it. So... You're probably moving away or learning or healing this energy of I want this commitment, but let me just wait. I'm not going to do anything. Ten years later, oh, nothing's happening. Maybe I should go. You know, uh, not anymore. It's shown up a little different. It's shown up as participation on your side this time around. So you're definitely healing this aspect here. Let me see the High Priestess. It's like you're being asked to pause, to recognize the pause in your life. You know, that affects you mostly in certain aspects of your life. Quite interesting. For the High Priestess, you get the Six of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Yeah, it's the same thing. You're showing up as following your intuition, wanting to create some sort of balance, something, something to work out in a particular situation. Um, but then when you get all confused about it and when you don't know how to approach it anymore, you abandon it instead of staying through that confusion and seeing why that confusion is there, why, what it's trying to bring out for you, you know, to heal. So you're kind of trying or the energy is trying to sneak back in to catch you in that place of confusion like oh you want this you want to do something about it let me confuse the hell out of you let's see how you deal with it and usually you're showing me i would walk away normally show me kind of the same thing when it comes back up but i don't know i don't know it's showing up a little different the way in which you're walking away like you're you're kind of sitting in it for a little bit it takes practice it takes practice to change a specific pattern, it's going to take practice. For the Queen of Wands, you get the King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the, the Ten of Pentacles. This is beautiful. Something's coming together in a beautiful way. And it can only come together in that beautiful way with your participation in it. So that tells me that you are learning a major lesson here. If in the past you were quite passive here, quite... Mm, Let's wait for others to do stuff while I don't do shit. And then I'll just walk away if nobody's going to do anything here. You're showing me participation this time around. So something is definitely happening here. Something is definitely uh, being healed on your side. But I love how it is being healed, how ironic it is, which the universe has funny ways of showing up. You're being asked to pause so that you can take a look at your own pauses. Which is quite <laughs> interesting. To me, at least. Let's see what the universe has to close it off. The Magician, the Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Definitely manifesting some sort of love. Some sort of, you're in that place of sitting and manifesting and being like, okay, now that I manifested, it has to come in. And what's going on here for you? So you're in this place of manifesting for now from the universe, apparently. But what's shifting through your reading is that sense of even though I manifested and I asked for it, that doesn't mean I'm just going to wait for it here. I'm going to put all of my energy into that manifestation. So I have to participate too. So you are here. But be careful because that energy is going to try to pull you back into, now you don't need to do anything. Wait for it. Wait for it. You're good. It's going to come. Now you need to participate in your own manifestation for it to come to life, basically. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.